Pavel's group is advancing towards Tretikovskaya, also known as Venice. They have a few hours lead on me and are moving via frequently used tunnels. But I will catch up. I can't afford not to. We shoot. We're armed. We are armed. Swear by Lenin's name. He doesn't look like a GB. I don't recognize the uniform. Could he be one of ours? Look at all his weapons. Don't shoot. We are civilians. There are women and children here. Leave and let leave, okay? We're refugees from the Red Line. I'm in charge here, basically. No, there's nobody under my command. All the battle worthy men went with the other caravan. Half a click ahead. I thought they'd protect us, but they were attacked. We heard the shooting. It subsided. But it doesn't look like our people survived. So we can't go any further. And if we go back, it's the firing spot for us. You look like you've seen your share of fights. Can you help us? And it's not for me, but I pity the children. So what do we do now? How do we live without them? They might still be alive. Don't bury them yet. But the shooting... The shooting was so Too loud. bad, you can't fit that. And now there is nothing... Some buckshot in the gut sure makes any bandit a dull boy. Buy wow. some. These Why are great books. Buy some. They might come soon. Come again. Let's just wait. These guys don't buy anything. Do you think they... They killed them all? They could have. Or it could be worse. How? Women were with them. Yasha, if ignorance is bliss, you're the happiest guy around. So uh, are we going to help our guys or what? What help can just the two of us be? If they're pinned down, we could flunk the bandits. Let's get ready then. Well, you're not going anywhere. Who is going to protect the women and children? But we can't let the bandits butcher our guys. That stranger is going to help us. Looks like he's worth 20 of you anyway. You are an idiot to believe you're Andre the Blacksmith. Oh, it's safe. You'll get there in no time. And you dragged me here. And now we're all gonna die. Come again. Of your stupid blacksmith. Shut your mouth. Andre's a saint. He got us all out. And lots of people before. If you need us. a weapon, come back. I'm Shut. not going anywhere. He got yet. us out just to be robbed by bandits. And how the hell was he supposed to know about the bandits? Then he shouldn't tell people it's safe. Such bullshit. How about the GB? He did save us from them. And what difference does it make if we're still going to be killed by bandits? Dumb woman. <laughs> I don't even want to look at you. You tell me, Yasha. What made you flee? Mobilization, of course. A boy your age has no business with a rifle. They always overlooked me. But then, I was summoned to duty. Mom said with my luck, <laughs> I'd bite the dust the second I hit the front lines. So, she got me into this caravan. Which seems like a mistake now. You're still young. You'll find a place for yourself if we get anywhere. But me, I served them for 20 years. 20! They gave me a pension. A hundred grams of mushrooms and a bullet a day. And they don't let me beg saying it's a disgrace to the motherland. So, I choose treason over hunger. Though, who'd ever need me? So I left, cause the war is approaching, and our station's right in the way. 
During the last war, the people ran, but there was a rifle squad of our own soldiers at the rear. They just shot everyone. Women, children, old men. To not let the panic spread. So I learned the lesson and ran before it started. And here we are. Stuck. Yes, you guys at the edge stations have it tough. Not that we're better off. My husband got drafted, so I waited for him. Then one of his squad mates came over. I thought, that's it. He's dead. But no, he was captured by the Nazis. That means his family goes to the camp. If you surrender, you're a traitor. Dad's no traitor. He's a hero. <laughs> a hero? Real hero? Of course. <laughs> Everyone's still alive. The kids, the women. I'll move the rail car so that you can drive through. If you follow them, be careful in the technical tunnel. I heard the bandits talk about the trap there.
again. I'll just rest here for now. your mushrooms now before all the bullets go into your gun. No shit? Well, maybe we should plant these. I know a good place. Hey, the boss didn't give you a clash to be a fucking gardener. All right, all right. I won't worry about mushrooms. As long as there are caravans, we can find ours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What the fuck is up with you? To our good. The boss said if we let just one stick stay by, he's gonna have our ass. No shit. Or it's gone. Master? No. Well, you know at the end stations of all the lines, where the tongue turn is, and guys make a fire, drink, play cards. So, sometimes, one of those guys just stands up and walks off into the tunnel. And that's fucking it. So, if you ask the guy where he's going, he says, I've been summoned by the Master. And once a person is summoned, even if you tie them to their bunks, they'll just chew their ropes off and run off into the tunnel. Damn, that shit gives me the chills. How about some tea?
Okay, okay, you can tell me the tale later. Right now we're entering the fairway and plotting a course to the base. 